Bonsoir tout le monde. Euh, J'ai une question. Est-ce qu'il y a des étudiants ici qui ne sont pas d'ETS? Vous êtes tous de l'ETS, juste euh, une personne? Parfait. Alors, euh, moi, je vais vous présenter euh, un des projets sous le cadre de Integration, euh, Industry 4.0 Technology Integration. C'est mené par l'Université Concordia. Euh, vous avez entendu parler de Amado. Euh, après, mon collègue va parler de Demado. Euh, moi, je vais, je vais vous présenter DP, DTPSC. On n'a pas un acronyme euh, <rire> très facile. C'est a Digital Technology Platform for Supply Chain. C'est avec l'Université Concordia et euh, la participation de ETS. Euh, J'aimerais remercier Siemens et aussi le CSNRG pour euh, leur appui à ce projet. Euh, là, je vais continuer ma présentation en anglais. Euh, J'ai vraiment du mal à dire euh, chaîne d'approvisionnement et je vais le dire souvent. Alors, si jamais vous avez des questions, n'hésitez après, euh, après la présentation. So, to give you a little bit of a context, uh, at Siemens, they have a, a, a team of 50 people um, in the supply chain group. Uh, they are uh, responsible for almost 300 prime suppliers that deliver components in Montreal and in Europe. So, they have a strong interest in this project in optimizing several aspects of their supply chain. So, I'm assuming that everybody here knows what a supply chain, uh, how it works, what it looks like. So, just very briefly, You have raw material suppliers that send their um, components or inventory to a warehouse or directly to a factory. That factory uses those components to manufacture end items, uh, which then go to another warehouse or through distribution into the hands of the final customer. So traditionally, uh, when supply chains were managed, the suppliers, the manufacturers, and the customers rarely shared information. They were, they were not really communicating. And over the past few decades, all of these players realized the importance of transparency, of sharing information, and of communicating so that everybody could anticipate what's coming and also react to changes very quickly. So now, in order to realize the vision of Industry 4.0, uh, most in enterprise business processes need to move towards more digitization. So a critical element will be the evolution of the traditional supply chain towards a connected, smart, and highly efficient uh, supply chain ecosystem. And so the benefits of a more connected uh, supply chain, of course, is that the supply chain becomes more efficient, becomes more agile, and more uh, customer-focused. So again, all the members of the supply chain will be able to be much more responsive to changes and better anticipate what's coming. So the objective of this project is to develop tools and methodologies for smart supply chain planning by leveraging the advantage of Industry 4.0 technologies. Uh, now we talked a little bit about it before. We know that uh, uh, the workforce, the nature of the workforce is changing. The people who are actually doing the work have to get used to new tools and new methods. So one of the key components of our project is to develop approaches to prepare the workforce to adapt to the changes as well. So the team on this project, I'm the uh, principal investigator along with my colleague uh, Angeli Oasti from Concordia. Uh, Costas Stavrianos is the lead at Siemens. We have two professors, Chohan and Yu at Concordia University. And we have uh, Dr. Maranzana and Dr. Beauregard who are uh, participating from ETS. Somebody had a question earlier, if, uh, is it possible for students from Polytechnique to participate? Unfortunately, this project is just a collaboration of the two universities, so uh, we can't accept um, any, uh, um, any students from outside of these two universities uh, to, to work on these projects. None of these projects have started. We have, we've just um, announced a start date of November 1, so we're looking for students for all of these projects. So the uh, areas, of, areas of interest that we are going to look at are forecasting, inventory analytics, capacity modeling, and transportation, all of which are key uh, and critical components of uh, properly functioning supply chain. So we're, we have six research modules or sub-projects in this overall project. Uh, we're looking at scenario planning and forecasting. We have another project on developing a supplier collaboration platform. Uh, transportation management, supply chain quality management, geometric and product manufacturing data mining, 
and cross-disciplinary workforce development, which cuts across all of the other five projects. So the first project is scenario planning and forecasting. Uh, it's led by Concordia. Uh, we need two PhD students and one master student. So one of the critical success factors in supply chain is being able to match supply to demand. So one of the things that Siemens would like to do is they want to um, be able to plan for different scenarios or simulate different scenarios and then plan to uh, adapt these scenarios and be able to forecast demand accurately. So in this project, uh, the objective is to develop scenario planning and forecasting models and a tool to assess the impact of variations in sales forecast on inventory planning to increase responsiveness to, to demand. So the first part of the project will be to forecast engine demand using data mining and artificial intelligence. Second part will be optimizing inventory and forecasting inventory. And then the third part will be reporting and uh, analyzing inventory. The next project is on developing a supplier collaboration platform. So supplier collaboration is the joint development of capabilities among the uh, manufacturer and the suppliers. And the goal is really to reduce costs, to have uh, improved, improved processes, and also be more innovative in the uh, development of the pro their products and services. So this project, again, is led by Concordia. We need two PhD students and a master's student for this one. And the objective is to develop a supplier collaborating, uh, collaboration modeling approaches and a tool for supplier capacity planning because Siemen would like to know um, when there are changes in Siemens requirements, are their suppliers ready to adapt in, in, in terms of their capacity? So the first part, we'll be reviewing the literature and industry, industry best practices on supplier collaboration and capacity modeling. Uh, the second part will be to develop a uh, collaborative capacity planning model and then to test that collaboration model um, with existing software at Siemens. The third project is transportation management, um, again led by Concordia. We need one PhD student and one master student for this project. So research has shown that during trans when, uh, when a company is coming up with a transportation strategy, multimodal transportation is what reduces costs and also emissions. Uh, when I say multimodal, I mean either by air, by rail, by land, by water. So the objective of this project is to develop a multimodal freight transport approach and a freight rate comparison tool by mode and transit time, uh, enabling uh, optimized freight cost for Siemens. So the first part will be to um, identify current transportation routes uh, and shipment costs using data analytics. Uh, the second part will be to develop approaches that will find the most economic transport mode, route, and service provider for a specific shipment for Siemens. And then the third part will be uh, to uh, develop a transportation management tool based on this model. The next project is on global supply chain uh, quality management. So with uh, supply qu uh, chain quality management, the idea is you want to um, identify strategies to integrate and coordinate across the supply chain in an effort to improve overall quality uh, and uh, overall performance. So in this project, we need one PhD student and one master's student. It's led by Concordia, but with also with the participation of ETS. Uh, the objective is to develop quantitative modeling approaches um, for multi-tier supply quality management to facilitate real-time product qualification and technical risk mitigation. So the first part will be to um, identify critical to quality criteria for suppliers at the different tiers, and then to develop um, network optimization models uh, to identify the best combination of suppliers for overall quality management. I'm going quickly because I thought I had 20 minutes, but I think it's only 10 now, so 15, okay. <laughs> uh, the next project is uh, geometric and uh, product manufacturing data mining for extended data analytics. This one is led by ETS by Professor uh, Maranzana, and he will need three master's students for this project. The objective is to develop approaches and tools to analyze and interpret product manufacturing information in order to reduce costs and to be able to negotiate with suppliers um, with facts in hand. 
So the first uh, part involves developing a model to interpret uh, information in a geometric context in order to eventually uh, uh, obtain costs. Um, the second part is to adapt deep learning approaches to predict manufacturing costs. And the third part is to integrate parameters outside of the, of the product itself. For example, the, the manufacturing, uh, the machine, the tooling, and other parts of the, uh, the enterprise. And finally, the last project uh, is uh, cross-disciplinary skills development. So we know that in the future, the skills that the workers have now are, will no longer be needed. Workers are going to have to develop new knowledge and new skills. So this project is um, led by Concordia, but also with the participation of ETS. We need one PhD student. The objective is to develop solution approaches and tools to prepare the workforce for Industry 4.0. And, and to link and implement these tools to all of the previous projects that I just mentioned. The first step will be to um, develop uh, uh, decision models for cross-disciplinary employee skills development. So machine learning will be used as well as statistical techniques and the key training criteria will be determined. The second part will be to develop a uh, decision support system to allocate resources to Siemens projects. So the expected benefits for Siemens is uh, to have improved collaboration um, with their suppliers, uh, to have logistics efficiency improvements, uh, to improve the overall quality management of their supply chain, achieve cost reductions, increase traceability of their production processes, and have personalized training for employees. And of course, the benefits for all of you um, who are participating in these is that you actually get to work at Siemens. You get to do hands-on learning and you get to learn about supply chain and um, the move of supply chains towards Industry 4.0. Uh, so this is a five-year project. Uh, again, um, we're just starting now. We, um, we haven't even actually signed the final contract yet, but we are looking for students to start immediately. All of the projects start in year one. So if anybody here is interested in any of these projects, you can, um, you can contact me and uh, we can set you up with the, uh, with the appropriate professors.